In studio right now is Sheriff Rob Mayshill and also, uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Cool and crisp out there. Brisk. I had to break some ice this morning on the water buckets for did the you, animals. Oh, boy. You, you, of all people, had to have seen the moon this morning, right? Oh, I mean, it, was, you're, it was nice, actually. Wasn't it was that bright an, out there. Yeah. Amazing sight. A big difference right? walking around. Also uh, in studio uh, here now is the MVCC Dean, Marianne Buttonshawn. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Thank so you. Uh, you guys are doing something uh, coming up here on the issue of substance abuse, and it'll happen on the 17th. This Is that Thursday? Yes. Yeah, Thursday night. Um, or Thursday morning. It's uh, 8 a.m. till 9 a.m. for registration. Uh, you'll do coffee. Uh, it starts at 7.30? Yes. In the morning, so bright yes. and early. Um, and then uh, there's a closed presentation during the 8 o'clock hour, and then it's open to everybody. Talk about what... what uh, this is a very scary issue right now. Yes, it is. I mean, Sheriff, you've seen it. You're seeing yes. that the legal yeah. side. We're, we're living the law it every enforcement day, side. Um, from both law enforcement out on the street, the, the heroin epidemic, to the issues we're dealing with in the correctional facility, um, just seeing lives getting destroyed, my budget getting destroyed, and over time when it comes to managing the folks in our facility. Um, so this is an opportunity. It's a, it's a partnership with the Sheriff's Office, MVCC, and the Department of Justice. Yeah. And I'll let Dean Buttonshine uh, just touch on what uh, you know what we're going to be doing here Thursday. And from 9.30 till 10.30, um, it's open to students and public, every, everybody. Yes, absolutely. Um, as the Sheriff stated, it's a great partnership. Uh, when the Sheriff had his uh, community program at the Armory, we uh, met an individual from the Department of Justice, and she provided a speaker for us. Uh, the sheriff and I both in the past have had many different partnerships, and we felt that this would be one that would be beneficial not only to any professional, uh, whether they're in the health field, uh, law enforcement, fire, any emergency services, as well as for our students. And uh, Michael Nearney is a uh, former director of Training Institute of Narcotic and Drug Research, and he'll be speaking and as well? Yes, he so, is the keynote. Uh, the keynote speaker for this. How do people get involved? Uh, we will be taking registrations that morning. Okay. So anyone is welcome, again, at the 930 session that is open to the public. From 8 until 9, it's closed for professionals. Prof any professional right. that Got has it. an interest, yes. All right, uh, Sheriff, this is a, it's an important issue. It is. You know, and uh, Mr. Nerney's going to be talking about, um, you know, the trends, what we're seeing out there across the country uh, with, with uh, young adults and understanding, you know, the, the heroin abuse issue and, you know, how uh, abusing prescription right. drugs can lead to heroin abuse. Um, so it's a great opportunity, you know, and like I said, uh, you know, at 930, we want to get the whole community in there. Adults, get out there. It's uh, open to everybody. It's open to everybody. All right. Right. Want them to come in and and uh, again just another opportunity for us to get the message out there about the heroin epidemic, you know, and what we can do together to to hopefully get this this massive problem under control. Right. It's Thursday at MVCC. Thank you, guys. And, uh, Dean Buttonshine. She got one quick plug. If okay, she could. All right. All right. with the Utica Food Pantry, yes. uh, we will be doing our turkey giveaway, and uh, that is on the twenty second. And we're looking for individuals that are interested in donating. Uh, we are located in the lower level of the Veterans Outreach Center. Okay. So we find that that's uh, every year we do an annual turkey giveaway. Our goal is 500 turkeys. If you're interested in donating, you drop them off at Central Station on okay. Bleeper Street. All right. Uh, and and you know this is the uh, this is, we always think about food and and veterans and people who are homeless. We always think about them this time of year. It's something we really should do year round, right? Yes, it is. Uh, yeah. We do. Uh, the, the food pantry is open two afternoons right now, and uh, generally we see about 300 individuals a month. So it is, there is the need, as you stated. Uh, however, that afternoon we will not turn anyone away. Got it. And, uh, again, we're just looking for individuals in the community that would be interested in donating. Okay, and this is what uh, community college is really intended for, right? I mean, yes, it's a college that is uh, that is grassroots, right, in the community, and and uh, an event like what's coming up on Thursday is really what it's all about. Exactly, yes, it is. you know, you look at the the, the as we said, the partnership. Uh, many of the people who work for me also teach in the police academy. Yep. Many of the people who work at the college also work in our facility. So we're constantly working. Our police academy is held at the college. So it is a, is a, it is a grassroots organization, and we're uh, we're just fortunate right. to have it here in our community. All right, uh, Sheriff Dean, thank, thank you, guys you very much, so much, very much, and uh, we'll break.